Okay. So let's say you have a cylinder or you have something that you want to wrap uh, the text around. Um, there's something called the wrap deformer, which I was playing around with earlier. Um, where did it go? Wrap, wrap, wrap. There it is. Okay. So let's bring in something. So let me just go ahead and create, um, I don't know, maybe a text. And I'm not going to type anything specific. I'm just going to go ahead and get the text. Uh, add a hyper nerb, an, ex an extrude nerb. And then attach that to that. So now I have my text. Okay. Um, so now I have my text, but I don't want it to be straight. I kind of want it to wrap around, uh, whether this way or that way. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go here and bring in the wrap deformer. Now what it will do will give you a mesh um, that will wrap around it. And then you can manipulate this mesh. You could rotate it, turn it around. Uh, but let me show you how to do that. You're just going to take the wrap and you're going to add it to the text. You see how that kind of flat goes around the object. Uh, now it might look good in certain areas. Other areas like the T starts to look flat. That's because the T is not a great resolution. It's probably very flat. So you can increase um, its specifications or you can go under text and try to go down here under uh, intermediate points and you could probably go ahead and say maybe try different things but maybe uniform. See how uniform maybe had a little bit better there. Anyway, uh, what the idea is that you could do anything you want with this wrap. So you know, you could, you know, extend it, decrease it, make it wrap a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, you could make it, make the wrap kind of bigger all the way around. Um, and of, over here, of course, you have all sorts of parameters. You could go ahead and, you know, increase the height, the width, um, longitude, latitude, there. Um, and as well as you could do cylindrical or spherical. So if you want it more wrapped around a sphere. So you could go ahead and try that. Um, and then remember that, you know, you could take the wrap uh, and you could rotate it as well physical. So that will give you a weird kind of looking effect with your text. Uh, you could try to move that. It's pretty cool. Like if I were to animate like a water logo, it would look really cool. I can get this really cool, nice effect. Um, but anyway, um, the idea here is to show you that the mesh is interactive. Uh, if you want the whole thing to rotate, you can select everything here by just dragging and then Option G. And this way you can control the whole thing and make everything rotate and you can tweak anything you want. Uh, try to see, play around with the parameters, see if, um, what type of different controls you can go ahead and do. And hopefully that will be helpful. All right.